bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Making a difference. So many people among us are doing just that in an everyday, ordinary way. Hello, I'm Joe Basicchia, and this is a special edition of Comcast Newsmakers, highlighting those we like to call Everyday Joes. In this segment, we meet Melody Homer. Despite great loss, she has found the strength to give. I just grew up knew knowing I wanted to be a nurse. I like to help people. Melody Homer excels at her career. If you do your job well, um, you really can make a difference. These men and women go above and beyond every day to take care of people. They know a lot about what's going on, so they know how to comfort you. They know how to comfort your family. Family is the patient, not just the patient. Hi, Zach. How are you doing today? For patient Zach Hano and his mom, nurses are critical. They've just been like a blessing to me. They've been great. They've been, I mean, you see them a lot more than you see the doctors. We have our, you know, wonderful physicians to figure out what the medical issues are, but then the other um, you know, more subtle issues, we're the ones that usually are able to pick up on things like that. They've treated our daughter like their own daughter um, the entire time we're here. Nurses are a true blessing. We're so fortunate to have them. But their numbers are dwindling. According to the American Association of Colleges of Nursing, the United States is in the throes of a nursing shortage, expected only to worsen as baby boomers age. That's our job. That's sort of what we sign on for, that we will take care of our patients. Making the problem worse is the need for nursing instructors. Touch is extremely important to nursing. Um, touch can be healing. Melody Homer is teaching. Nursing is a science, but it's also considered an art. Virtua West Jersey Hospital, Voorhees, New Jersey. Nursing students learning the art through Burlington County College. When you go in the hospital, you want the best care you can get, and you want at least from the college's point of view, are nursing students to be the best possible nurses they can. And it all starts with the nursing instructor. It is very important to advocate for our patients, and especially our patients that can't speak for themselves. Beyond inspiring these nursing students, Melody is dedicated to helping aspiring airline pilots. She runs the Leroy W. Homer Foundation, named after her husband, pilot of United Flight 93, victim of 9-11. He loved his family. Leroy was always my cheerleader. He would send me um, or give me a card on Nurses Day. As a child, he had the dream of flight. As a man, it came to life. We both loved our jobs. You know, we both just really loved what we did. Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Memorial efforts here will honor Leroy Homer and the victims of 9-11. But thanks to Melody, there is already a living memorial in the pilots of the future. There's also a pilot shortage. You know, we need to get more kids, young adults, involved in aviation. And not everyone has the same access. Um, flying's expensive now for lessons, for the fuel. We have a website. It's www.leroywhomerjr.org. After working with her, and seeing all the things that she can do, it makes me feel like I can do more. We're going to have bad days at times, but, um, you know, she just, uh, she always has a smile on her face no matter what. Never, always has a positive attitude. To do this with everything else she has going on, she just, she makes you think that, like, it doesn't matter what happened in your morning. The patient's still number one because she keeps it all together so well. She's a mother, she's a nurse, she's a patient advocate, she has a nonprofit. she's she really does it all. I don't think I'm that strong. I think um, somebody used the word resilient, and I thought that was the better word. I just try to get through the, the next hurdle, you know, whatever that next hurdle is. Look at her, look at her son. An inspiration for all of us, Melody Homer. This has been a special edition of Comcast Newsmakers. We call it Everyday Joes. It highlights our everyday neighbors making a difference. For more information, be sure to join us at cn8.tv. For Comcast Newsmakers, seen exclusively right here on Comcast Cable, I'm Joe Basicchia. Thanks for being with us.